Now look, if a woman goes out here and is married to a man, and she goes out and makes love with another man, and has affairs with him, and come back to her husband, he should kick her out. Is that right? She must be true to him, because she's vowed to him. And the bride of Christ is vowed to Christ. And he is the word. Not even wink at the other side. A woman should not even wink at another man. She should make no signs, no emotions at all towards you. For she is absolutely a bride to one bridegroom. We don't want to know your mixed trees, your denomination. Be true to Christ the Word. Amen. He'll vindicate it to be true. No, sir. Not even any emotion of anything towards making love to him. Not join his ranks or anything else or let him get you in his arms or in his care or talk to you over this way. That way you listen only to one voice. My sheep know my voice. Amen. A stranger, they're not. What is his voice? Any man's voice is his word. And this is it, the Bible. Not one word to be added to it or taken from you. Stay right with that voice. A stranger, they won't follow a denomination. As she is part of the groom, true to him in every part, waiting the wedding, uniting, not the ecumenical council, but in the sky, the wedding supper. She has been given, this is for our own church, the, she has been given and revealed to her the seven sealed mysteries of the Bible. She sees the folly of the deceiver. So very close to the truth that almost deceived the elected. She sees it. She see the two opposing spirits at work in this evil age. Can you see it? Each very religious, Cain and Abel. Spirits again coming to their heads. Still same as they started, one worshiping by beauty and by knowledge and by education and by science and by ethics, and the other by faith of the revelation of the Word of God. Amen. Both of them standing right in this building this morning. Amen. That's right. Amen. Revelation or faith in His Word makes no claims of knowledge. The real, true Christian, you say, have you got a, uh, are you got a doctor's degree? <laughs> Makes no claims. I, I believe his word. Doesn't make any claims, doesn't claim to be educated, doesn't belong to any denomination, any party, any sect. It belongs to Christ. Amen. It's his wife, Amen. not a church wife. She's a prostitute. The Bible said she was a whore and a mother of harlots. Amen. And they all come together to make the same whore. And that kind of a woman is a woman that's untrue to her husband and claiming Christ as her husband and belonging to a denomination. <laughs> Such nonsense. Amen. We belong to Christ. Amen. But in obedience, this little faith woman that lives by faith, the bride, the person here there, here of somewhere else, some other church, some other denomination, whatever it is, and some not, believes the Word of God. Obedience. Waiting in love for the promise of the age to be confirmed. She's watching for it. She is part of that word. And she's watching for her life to manifest that word. Brother, can't you see that? I hope that didn't go over yet. The body is waiting for, which is the word, waiting for the life, which is the spirit, to confirm or make it alive. That's what she's waiting for. No other life will work in her. She can't come to life any other way. Yes, she feels it out there and she knows it's going to happen. Then here it happens. Then she wakes up. God said, let there be. And she came forth. Like the first one. Come forth. Children of disobedient means obedience. Disobedience means rebellion. I looked that up in the dictionary to be sure. Rebellion, rebellion against what? the revealed Word of God. Amen. Like Cain revealed, rebelled against Abel's revealed revelation vindicated of God that it was righteous. 
and Cain rebelled against it and slew his brother. The Pharisees, with their own denominational knowledge of what the Word of God was, selected hand-picked man, rebelled against the vindicated Word of God made manifest for the day Jesus Christ and killed him. Is that right? That's what the children of disobedience is, a rebellion against the Word of God. Now, see where they are? Oh, days of miracles is past. Jesus Christ not the same as There's no such thing as the baptism of the Holy Ghost. All that stuff is nonsense, see? Rebellion. They don't have to say two things, just have to say one. That's all. That's a rebellion right there. They can't say you don't have eyes, you don't have ears. You've got to take the whole body, the whole word. See? The Holy Spirit call comes out of her. Be not partakers of her denominational dogma uh, as he laughs and scorns at the word of God of this day. For God is not mocked. Just remember, she'll get it. Don't be worried. She'll get it. The Bible in Ephesians 4.30, he's going to put that down. Ephesians 4.30 said, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. They can't mock and make fun and say these things and get by with it. Like bread upon the water, it'll return. She is the devil's bride wrapped in his religious, sin-loving knowledge for this present evil age to deceive you. Oh, my. A whole clique or denomination of seducing spirits by scientific knowledge and a modern civilization claiming... We're going to close just in a few minutes. I'm going to have to stop because I can't get through it all. Claiming that she's building a great world for you to live in. She claims that in her civilization she has built fine churches, colleges, schools, hospitals, libraries, and temporary help for man without God's Word. She's done it. She's proved that she could do it. And the people have fell for it. Yes, sir. Schools. Denominations, culture, better dressed people, better fed people. I'd rather it be in a bread line and be right with God than to have fried chicken three times a day and have to belong to a prostitute like that. And remember, the hour is close at hand when the mark will come. You'll either be in it or out of it. And it'll come like a thief in the night. It'll catch you right in there and you're there. And ain't no getting out of it then. You don't tuck it. Come out! An angel came down from heaven with a great shining face and cried out to the people that shook the earth, Come out of Babylon, for she's fallen. Be not partakers of her plagues, my people. Get out of her. Get out! And we just read it in the Word a while ago. An angel's a messenger coming down. Notice the Holy Spirit come out of her that she be not partakers. Now, she's built all these things. She has built great churches. She has built college, schools, taking the people and educating them into a, a better so-called civilization, and they've educated them by a modern civilization that's brought them into the pit of death by knowledge away from God and His Word. Don't you see the whole scheme? Do you see that, church? Amen. Out on the air, if you see it in your own congregations out there, say, Amen. The rest of them will know where you're standing. See? Amen. She's did it. She's, it's a God of this earth. And she has built colleges. She's built universities. She's built hospitals. She's built libraries. She's built all these things for temporary help of man, just enough to deceive them to get off of that word. Amen. And what she led them to, the whole church world is Plunged into death. Amen. For God said that He would burn the whore and her children Amen. with an everlasting fire. Amen. Come out of it, people. Don't you be caught in there. You get away from that thing as quick as you can. By our scientific knowledge, she's been able to do this. Now, notice, without God's Word, God never did ordain us to go out and 
have schools. He never. He never told us to build hospitals. They're good. He never told us to build libraries. No, sir. He never. He said, preach the gospel. Amen. And the gospel is manifesting, demonstrating the power of the Holy Spirit. Paul said, the gospel come to us not through word only, but through the manifestation and demonstrations of the Holy Spirit. Paul said, I never come to you with great words of wisdom or some doctor of so forth, but I come to you in power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit that your faith will not be in the wisdom or knowledge of the man of this world, but in the power of the resurrection of Jesus Amen. Christ because He lives the same yesterday, today, and forever. God help us to believe the same thing and God vindicate the same thing as He has been doing.